yeah this is the story where I pick up this scooter it has an engine that is stuck or seized and it was earlier out for sale for about thousand Swedish crown which is a good price but it was wasn't interesting for me uh, after a couple of weeks a month later or so it was for free and I was fast I saw it quick and I got it I was lucky enough to got it so this is a story where I go pick this up and you can follow along how it went. Do I get it started? Okay, so let's go check. Get go and get that. 125 Baothian. See what shape it is. Can't expect too much when it's free, right? I'm getting too many many bikes now. I can't I can't say no, you know kind of a hoarder when it comes to this scooter rehab thing. The scooter is taken apart and in general poor condition after being outside in rain and debris probably for years. Previous owner don't know much about it, he got it when he with another purchase. The owner tells me that he bought a new battery but won't get the mo engine moving. He wanted to sell that battery but I declined. The reason why he wanted to get rid of the scooter is because the scooter was not allowed to stay anymore, according to his girlfriend. Yeah, so, so he had it. to get rid of it. Yeah, it looks. Uh, was a big. Uh, I thought it was a big hole on top here, and then the electric seems broken. But I got the ignition key and so on, and I uh, got the number plate is, is in here so it's legit everything is okay so it's not stolen i don't want to have anything to do with stolen stuff of course but it looks pretty okay and the mileage pretty low there this is correct i don't know Let's see they can use the tires on the other one probably. They are fresh. It's probably yeah, maybe it's two thousand there. I don't know. We'll find out when we roll it. Yeah, so it's cheap. Free. <laughs> we like that, right? The front tire is really nice. So that's nice. Yeah, so I gotta roll it home. Well, the brakes work. Front shock. Looks okay. It's a bit weak. And I just tried the, the back brake. And it's working also. Get the disc back there. Back there. So, yeah, it's a bargain. <laughs> bargain. Can't complain. Let's check the, if there's an, any oil in it. Yeah, there's some oil there. That's nice. I've been checking the meter, and it's this is just 270 Swedish miles like 2696 kilometers so that's it's barely run the tires are different it's not the same si same as the front so they have replaced something anyway i pull it home and i i go over to a neighbor and what do i Hörne! see yeah it's Only the burglaries down there they're looking at the spelade. And they also break into the pack box. So I get pretty aggravated. They, they were gonna, probably gonna steal it. Yeah, this is Sweden, unfortunately. So he, so he told me that it was locked, the end was stuck. So I'm not gonna push this any hard before I put some oil in the cylinder. Uh, put uh, that and leave it there for a couple, not some day or two. 
before I even go about trying to fly, try to move the flywheel or whatever. We definitely got signs of being outside a lot, but some parts look pretty good. It's been standing outside a lot. I wonder what this is. Yeah, what is this? It's probably a sensor for the the side sensor. support or whatever you say, not the main stand, just the side stand. Yeah, this one also lacks the the spring here, so had to put it up here. And the electric cables are down there. Just put this here. So it will look a li little bit better. Forks looks pretty okay. Not too rusty. The exhaust looks to be in pretty good shape. Not too much rust. This is a bit off. Yeah, it was just to do that. Got a small tank here. Yeah, so I'm gonna remove the spark plug and put some some oil using just regular motor oil. You can use diesel or two stroke oil, but I think this will do also. This is how the spark plug looks. Pretty rusty. Now with fan. The exhaust looks in pretty good shape. It's a bit rust there. Got the petcock valve here. Needs a vacuum. Got a hole down there. Straight down. Don't know why. Sounds like it's leaking here. Got a crack there. I put a screw there instead in the hole just to cover it up. And then I'm oiling, putting some oil, oil on the screws over and uh, just going over it and this is still stuck it's been a couple of days so it's a major thing and the throttle work yes yeah, the throttle works On this 125, the vacuum also goes to the carburetor here. And then to the fuel petcock valve. CDI is down here. It's a red one. We get some. Yeah, I guess this is the intake for the fan. So I removed the CDI box. Just to make it a bit harder. To steal it. So I'm removing this sideboard. Let's see if I can get this to work. So this is, uh, I can't move this. Maybe I need to loosen this or something. Kickstart. Need to go and get the lever. This is really stuck. If I remove this, maybe I can get this out. Got some rust down there also.
you can see it's been standing in water or something it's been filled with water this case removed the, the kick axle and that part so remember it should be a washer on that side and then this one you have to really pull up get a bushy there or something yeah anyway it was pretty stuck but I managed to I managed to move it now I believe this must be the now it's getting tighter again but I believe it's loose right it's just a bit too much oil in it that's nice It's stuck again, but it's yeah. I guess it should be. It's pretty much compression. So after t after toggling, it's now possible to turn it all the way. Spark plug is not tight, but it's pretty much resistance here. But that's nice. It's unstuck. So note to self: this is how it looks. The washer is on top of the kex axle here, and then you got a spring that you push up. So this is how it looks. Just to remember. Okay. Uh, we got the start relay here uh, or solenoid and then we got a orange uh, ignition coil I don't think that's original they probably replaced it having trouble with it with the bike and uh, this is the front under the we they have he has made some kind of connection here disconnected the alarm the white and black and white and black and black and white cable is shorted here and that looks to be grey and pink on that one this doesn't seem right either so what is missing here got this on this side and we got This doesn't seem right. Should be something more, right? This is too loose. And then I need something more here to hold it. And what is that? Yeah, this is def definitely broken. I need a new front panel uh, with a headlight. This is the instrument cluster from underneath the light instrument. This is uh, black and white. That is closed circuit with uh, white and black. So this uh, connector goes normally to an uh, alarm module. So, but uh, we don't use it on this one. I don't have the remotes for that alarm. So it's pretty much useless. So I'm not going to use it. This is the alarm connector. This is the bracket for the ignition lock. I don't know why it's missing. Probably the bike has been stolen and the owner got it back or something. Anyway, you got the two holes with threads down on the below there. And then you got two holes for steering pins on that one. I'm gonna try to buy a new one. I got 25 between these steering pins. And uh, yes, you need to measure it really carefully because it's very easy to buy the wrong type of ignition lock. So here I'm trying it out. It's 50 on that one. Need about 50 long from first bolt. So it's 28 here between these two. 
and these are just steering hubs or something like that the next step might be uh, empty the fuel tank so I'm checking on the fuel lines They're in pretty bad shape they're dry and it's been standing out a lot so UV light has tear down the cables get the, the vacuum on the downside there from the fuel tank petcock valve and it goes I'm following the vacuum line here trying to see where it goes and I believe the contact there to the left was for the stand and I'm trying to locate vacuum line looks a bit broken there on the intake manifold here we have it on the left side going into the intake manifold and we got a splitter there so three-way splitter the plan is to remove the old fuel see if there is any fuel in or if the vacuum petcock valve is working that one as you can see it's completely dry the filter so no fuel has been here for a long time so it's better to just get it out, the old one out and replace it with new and as you can see it's probably plenty of rust there's some fuel down there but let's see the status of it lots of rust maybe you see and then after draining that one I'm gonna remove this one and clean it a bit see if there's any junk in it or whatever how big the throttle is and so on I've already ordered a 22 millimeter di diaphragm membrane because it's probably dry not dried out and as you can see the the cables here the rubber cables is torn and whatever so you probably need to replace many of them and let's just know this this doesn't look pretty I've ordered a new one of this one with a vacuum here and one also with a, an extra vacuum if I want to go this one with to that directly maybe we try the starter engine and see if that works should be down there somewhere see if we get the cranking working maybe it's, we do that before we remove this one I believe this is uh, might be something with the side stand to do like uh, some kind of sensor here if you know please comment it's got a black and white and a green cable earth so this might be we got three on this side yeah the black disc should be the kill for the CDI maybe yeah we'll see I'll ask the forum for it if you don't comment thanks at least the petcock valve is working if I'm sucking this one we get fuel here I don't know if I can show you with a, just one hand but Loud. So I started sucking here and then I just bent this one to rehold the vacuum and it's draining fine here. I can tell you that the fuel tank had lots of rust in it and uh, you will see probably see in the next episode or so. Anyway, hit the subscribe button. This will be a s series of episode when I try to get this bike to work. So also push the bell button. Okay, that's it for this time. Bye-bye.